Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to tell you about a new to me brand called Fleur and B. They're based in the LA area and at first I wasn't sure if their products were vegan or vegan friendly because they had B in the name but it turns out their entire line is vegan, cruelty free, all natural, clean, green beauty. Also all of the products in their line are under $35 so pretty reasonable price point. So they have four products in their line. They have a toner, a serum, a moisturizer, and an eye cream. And I've been using these for a little bit, but I wanted to demonstrate what they look like, wanted to try them on, say a few things about them. So right off the bat, first impression is I really like their packaging. And they use glass jars, which is a really big deal because this is eco-friendly and I appreciate that. This is what their products look like and I'll go over these one at a time. So they don't have a facial cleanser yet in their line, so I went ahead and washed my face and the next step in your skincare regimen should be toner. They have really cute names for their items. This is called Rose and Shine. It's a refreshing rose water toner. If you like roses you're gonna like the scent of this one. Mmm. And super refreshing. And the ingredients are super simple. It has purified water and hydro essential rose oil. So that's nice. During each step of your skincare, you want to let the product fully sink in, allow your face to dry. So now that that's nice and dry, we're gonna move on over to our Nectar of the Sea Facial Serum. This is their Nectar of the Sea Serum. It says two to three drops, but I kind of just, I go all out, right? And I just drop it directly right onto my face instead of putting it on my fingers just to avoid that step. And we're going to fully get the entire face. And I just want to remind you that it's very important not to forget the neck, the entire neck area because you know, that can give away our age. We pay a lot of attention to our face and we neglect our neck and our hands. So we want to protect those as well. So vitamin C is one of my favorite ingredients when it comes to skincare because it's good for hyperpigmentation, if you have brown spots, age spots, anything like that, freckles, what have you. And it's anti-aging because it's high in antioxidants. And I like the way that this kind of just, it evaporates pretty quickly. It's really nice, which I feel like is a good time saver because then we can just move on to step number three. So just recap, we remove makeup, we wash the face, then we tone, we use a serum, and the next step we use a face cream. And they have this one called Creme de la Creme. It has a really delicate, all of these products have really delicate scents, nothing's overpowering. I don't know, some people are super sensitive to strong smells even when they're all natural and essential oil based, but these are super subtle. In fact, what do we have in here? I'm just skimming over the ingredients, I'm not reading all of them. This has safflower, it has go-to cola, which I don't know what it is, but I've heard of it and I know it's like a super, super foodie ingredient. We've got Japanese honeysuckle, wild geranium, acai, Coenzyme Q10, love it. Organic green tea, pomegranate, so lots of good stuff. Lots of antioxidants. The cream looks like this. And we're just gonna put some all over our face. Oh, I forgot to mention they donate 1% of all their profits to charity, which is pretty cool, right? So it's a win-win. You're helping support charities and you're getting beautiful glowing skin, which is really cool. So again, we want to fully get our neck area. Yeah, it smells really nice. Again, subtle, subtle and nice. <clears throat> okay, and now that that has fully absorbed, we're gonna move on to our eye cream. So eye cream is going to be the last step. And their eye cream, I love this name so much. It's Eyes Eyes Baby. Doom, 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 doom. I think that's so cute. So let me quickly tell you about some of the ingredients. I think it's very similar type ingredients to the facial moisturizer. It has safflower. There's vitamin E, olive oil. There's caffeine. There's go-to cola. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Japanese honeysuckle, horsetail, wild geranium, algae, lavender essential oil, green tea, pomegranate. It has a very similar consistency as the face cream, but you only need to use a little bit just around the eye area. And I know you're supposed to use 
your ring finger and just dab 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 but ain't nobody got time for that i like to just rub it in i feel like as long as you're not tugging on your skin but you're just like you know kind of gently going over that area and what you do need to do because the skin around the eye area is definitely thinner more sensitive just be gentle with your face but this like dab 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 if you can rock that and you've got that zen patience power to you So yeah, Floor and B. I am a new fan. They're a new to me brand. I'm totally sold. This stuff has pure ingredients. Again, they're vegan, all natural. They donate to charity. Reasonable price point. I don't know if you can buy these in any stores right now, but they're definitely available online. I will have links and all that good stuff down below. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment below or message me. Who else out there is crazy about green beauty? If you are, leave a little emoji or say me, me, me. I feel like that's a rising trend in the beauty world and I'm super grateful for that. And I definitely want to focus on more brands that are making that a priority. So anyways, Floor and B, definitely check them out. And that's it for now. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.